So you want to do a rebuild. You've saved up to buy that special item. You spent all your cash on it. Now you can't wait to try it out. But after you buy it, how do you rebuild your gear and cash stack? My name is 3 face and I'm here to help. Today we're going to take a look at the Bofa. My Bofa is corrupted, which doesn't add any damage, but it has unlimited ammo. However, this is not necessary. The Bofa is personally one rebuild I have done along my account's journey, and I believe it to be a game changer in any account. The path I am taking in this rebuild is just the Bofa, nothing else. However, if you have untradeables in your bank, you should definitely use them, such as Full Void with a Ranger Helm, or even a pair of Barrows Gloves which we will be getting later on in the progression part of the video. Well, now let's get started on what the BOFA excels at and move on from there. BOFA is extremely accurate. On top of that, it also has a really good max hit, 34 with rigor, and with full crystal armor, a 39. This is why after you get the first few million GP, after acquiring the BOFA, it is advised to make crystal armor. For the process and list of requirements for craft crystal armor, see the OSRS wiki, and uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, so I'm not going to show in this video. Now for the process I will go through in the rebuild, it's going to take about three hours of progression, ending in some high-end bossing and different, different content. And uh, we're going to see how much we can make uh, on, this, on the loot tracker by the end of the three hours. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do, start the timer, run down here. We have to make a little bit of starter cash. This is just going to be for like house teleports and getting around Gilinor. But the first thing we're going to do is just come down here. And we're going to use this extremely accurate weapon and kill super weak guards. The bones of these guards are going to provide the starter money we need. And we're probably going to hop world a couple of times just to get the uh, first few house teleports we need. All right, so now we've got a little bit of money built up. We got about 2K out in here. We'll buy some house teleports and go on to do what our next thing is. Good deal. Okay, so now we have our house teleports. Let's go ahead and go over to Falador. All right, so we're just coming over here to Blue Dragons. We're gonna get some just starter cash going. There's already someone here, so we're gonna go ahead and hop worlds. We need to kill about three or four of these, not too many. We need about 10,000 GP to do what I want to do. Won't take much time at all. Okay, we decided to kill four of them here. Just a little extra money, not a big deal. Alright, so we're going to buy a Glory. Alright, so we're just going to go right over here to the Inferno. Teleport Rana Zarek's Talisman. So we have two dose and a two dose. We also have a way to recharge our prayer right here. And we're just going to kill some Brutal Black Dragons. This could be a really easy way to get a lot of money over the entire life of your Bofa. Anytime you just want to AFK and get some money. But uh, as a starter cash right here, you really can't beat it for what we're about to do. We're going to be flicking rigor almost the entire time we're doing this um, because we do want to hit as much as we can. But there, and there is a uh, prayer altar upstairs, so there's really no reason not to use our best damage buffs. Rune throwing axe is not the best drop in the world, but definitely pretty good money. Got one kill, and that's. Uh, about 16k, so that's very good. Okay, second kill. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Death runes and an ensouled head. That's actually not a bad drop. Definitely shoot us along in the in our uh, bit rebuild here. We got 42k off two kills. If we can get this one and maybe one more before we get back. That'd be excellent. 
Okay, I changed my mind. After this we kill, we are going to go back to the GE. We're going to upgrade our gear a little bit because we need a little bit more accuracy because these things do have a lot of defense. Even though the Bofa specializes in killing things with a lot of defense, we just have like no armor on. So we're definitely going to go upgrade. Hopefully we'll have about 60k or so after this kill and we should be able to get quite a bit of upgrades. Let's check it out, see what we're going to get. We're in Longsword. That's not bad. Okay, so what we're going to get here... We're gonna get a full set of we're gonna get a full set of black D head. Alright, so we're just here getting a Avas device. We went ahead and got the accumulator with our steel arrows and then down to 85 GP. All right, so we've got all the supplies we need now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go try Zora. What I've done is I've gotten my uh, Dramen stuff out of the bank because making a new Dramen stuff would take a while and I don't have a diary done. So we just made that to make things a little simpler. Not too much of a difference. We've got our anti, we've got our potion, we've got our recoils, and we've got everything we need. Our defense is pretty low, that's why we have the Karam Bonds, and I think that'll help us out quite a bit. It looks like we are indeed hitting... So that's fantastic. See, hopefully it gives us a good phase here. Just gonna give us melee. All right, so let's see what we get in the first kill. Hopefully something halfway decent. Doesn't look like a bad kill at all. That's nice. All right, let's go back to the GE real quick. All right, cool, so some upgrades we can do. I believe this archer's helm can go now. And go ahead and get ourselves ancient coif. All right, so here we are with the second kill. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do another one. We're gonna pot up and do another kill. Kill one got us 119k. Hopefully we can beat it in this next one. But that's a that's pretty above average actually for Zoro, so not too bad. Oh my gosh, that's a bad kill. That kill took forever. But good money, so that's okay. 281k. So average 140k a kill. Not too bad. Whew, that kill was pretty rough too. My 555th kill. We didn't get too much money, but we definitely didn't do too bad. Okay, so after selling off the loot from that last kill, I believe we can afford to go ahead and go to Lumbridge. We're just going to pick up a pair of Barrow's Gloves. Now, Barrow's Gloves might not give us a lot of attack bonuses. I think they do give us one over the Black Dehyde Fan Braces, but they will give us some defensive bonuses, which we desperately need. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up. All right, kill number four. Pretty low kill, but that's okay. All right, kill number five. Not the best kill. Okay, so we're about to go up to kill number nine. We got eight kills, 766K. Not the best so far, but not too bad either. Decided to upgrade my stuff a little bit. I have a couple of anglerfish, I got 275K. Left over, we're about to buy the red dehyde body, um, but uh, yeah, that's how we're doing right now. All right, so here we are at 10 kills. Got a little bit unlucky with some bad kills here towards the end, but that's okay, because I just wanted to get 10 kills of Zora. Um, but now we're gonna move on to something a little bit better, and uh, you'll see what that is in just a second. 
you are going to make one little upgrade here and it's going to be the body hopefully i can get it at a good price nice very good okay there's a little bit of money left that's perfect Okay, here we are at Hydra. I do have a, a Hydra Slayer task, so we're going to go ahead and pot up. I use an antidote here just to make it easier on myself. I'm going to pray range, walk in the door. Hopefully he doesn't hit us too hard. Okay, we're on, we're on range first go. Right. We are hitting pretty well, that's very good. Okay, we got a brimstone key. We got chaos room. So that's not bad for the first kill at Hydra. That was a 80k kill. Could have been a lot worse, so we'll take that. No problem. Alright, here we go. Second kill at Hydra. That one was a little bit slow, but let's check it out. And we get, eh, not the best kill, about 100k or so. All right, third kill at Hydra. Let's see what we get. Do you want something good? Hmm, money, death runes. Oh, that's too bad. Let's go back and uh, re-up our gear. Be right back. All right, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use the brimstone key and see what we get from the brimstone chest. All right, fourth kill, I believe. Let's see what's going on with this one. Just got a double dragon battle axe from Hydra that picked up our money a little bit. It's very nice to see. I was kind of getting worried there for a minute. Good job. Cool, just gonna pick us up some uh, Zamorai Dehyde boots. Pretty much spent most of the cash. Only got like about 50k left, but oh, never mind, got some back. Very good. It's a pretty good upgrade from the snakeskin boots, so it's very nice to see. That's a very good drop. All right, so that was my 11th kill at Hydra, and I got a nice little leather. Yeah, we're going to take that back to the GE. All right, so I've just paused the timer here, and uh, we've got about 35 minutes or so. I just wanted to talk about it because we do have 6 mil from that Hydra leather. So what would we buy next? Um, we would actually buy a Crystal Helm next and probably the Zamorak Dehyde uh, Coif, maybe a Fury. So we're gonna go ahead and look into it. We're gonna check out the Fury first. So the Fury's gonna give us some um, range attack bonus over the Glory. It's not very big, so we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna buy, we're gonna quote unquote buy our uh, Crystal Helm from the bank, that's 4.6 mil. So we're gonna go ahead and deposit the 4.64 mil and actually use our crystal helm. Very good. All right, so now we have a crystal helm that we can actually wear. So we're gonna pretend we actually made this and that's the way I'm gonna run this uh, because I think that's about the only way to do it. So now we're gonna go ahead and buy our Zamorak um, legs. A little bit expensive, but that's okay. I think we've got the money. So, uh, do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and exchange. We're gonna go ahead and sell this coif back. And the dehyde chaps. All right, very good, let's go ahead and buy another ranging potion. And we're gonna continue doing hydro for about the next 35 minutes or so. As I was running up here too, I did think of something we could have done with the money. We could have taken about a mil of that, maybe a little over, and we could have actually um, bought the Slayer Helm back from our bank. Um, that that probably would have been better for Hydra itself. Um, obviously not for like Zora or anything like that, but still a definite option as far as getting upgrades. All right, 15th kill. Let's see what we get. Not a bad kill. Not that great either, though. 
Okay, so here we are at the GE. <clears throat> We've sold everything off from our final final ki uh, kill at Hydra. And this is what we made in the three hours. Um, <clears throat> we're actually a little short, about two minutes, but that's okay. Um, we made 8.7-ish mil. Um, about six of it was this uh, uh, Hydra leather. But the uh, but 2.7 mil from just, from just having the Bofa is very good. <clears throat> I think... I will talk about some of the upgrade opportunities we have here. Um, I went with a crystal helm first just because I had the money for it. But if you had the situation, you'd actually want to go for the legs first above anything else. The legs are actually going to give you a two max hit bonus. And then the helm, if you get it first, will give you no max hit bonus. So that's kind of important. And then after you get the legs, the helm will give you a max hit. And then if you can get the Vorkath backpack, um, the, accumu uh, the assembler, that'll actually give you one more, I believe. So um, the archer's ring is the last upgrade you want to make because it only gives you accuracy bonus. So that is definitely the last upgrade you want to get. And um, I just want to show really quick the opportunity you have with, with this crystal armor. So this whole video we've been doing, um, we've been doing these kills with just like this so we haven't been having too many max hits even with even with rigor you can check um, this is with no with no uh, range pot but still that's a 34 with rigor the helmet 34 and then if we take the helmet off add the legs uh, 35 and put the helmet on and I think it gives another max hit 36 yes and the crystal body 39 so it jumps on, on the body so if you can afford these that's a lot of money but it's a huge upgrade to the damage um, being able to hit that much extra is a massive bonus also having the slayer helm on being able to hit a 43 instead of the crystal helm so the crystal helm is really not the best one to get first but that's all the option i had so that's a very good 43 and i with the ranging potion you can hit quite high with full crystal I just wanted to show that because it's very important when you're talking about the Bofo, as it really, really shines in the accuracy bonus and um, damage bonus whenever you have the full set on. And I'll just equip the helm real quick and show. Uh, set bonus. So it gives 30% accuracy and 15% damage. And 15% damage with range is actually quite high. And I will show this too. Um, so that's a 32 without rigor. I just want to show that the last upgrade you want to get is going to be your Necklace of Anguish. So the Anguish is kind of a, a niche thing. It costs quite a bit. It's about 15 mil at this moment, uh, the recording of this video. But if you have everything on and rigor, you hit a 40 and then a 44. That's pretty good. Um, the anguish, I believe it adds like one max hit. Yeah, it adds one max hit, so that's pretty good. Um, one thing to note too is without the Vorkath backpack, you're missing a little bit of DPS, and without also having a range pot, you're missing some DPS, so. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 2.7 mil, actually 2.7 mil, 2.8 mil in three hours, um, but with the Hydra leather job, of course, I'm getting much more, so. I think it's pretty successful, and um, I highly suggest this build this, this rebuild to anybody. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you.